today I will be showing you how to use the Wacom Pen & Touch tablet. This is a wonderful tool that you will find very helpful in your everyday life, whether you're an artist, photographer, or just want to have some fun. Despite your reason for buying it, you won't regret it. In order to set it up, you'll have to have the tablet plugged in. It has a USB connection, so attach it to any of the ports on the computer and get ready to learn. To set it up, just pop in the install disk and follow the on-screen instructions. There is also a tutorial that will tell you everything that the tablet is capable of doing. Not all of the features are important, so I'll go over the major ones here. I think the best feature on this tablet is the ability to switch between left and right handed modes. This is left handed mode, and to turn it right handed, it's the opposite way. Since I'm left handed, this is very convenient for me. The writing feature of the tablet allows the user to put a signature in emails or add a personal touch to e-cards. The main thing to understand here is that this is what you'll be using for the project. Using the handwriting paper that I have included, you will be using the writing function to write the ABCs in capital and lowercase letters and write the practice sentence. Looks a little bit like this. And so on. The next feature is the pen moves the mouse. Anywhere the pen goes, so does the mouse. It will take about two to three hours of practice time to master the movements, but once you get used to it, this feature can be wonderful. It's faster than moving and clicking the mouse because you combine the steps into one fluid movement. It's a valuable time saver, especially if you're in a hurry. The pressure recognition feature is useful in drawing and using the NYX software because it makes the lines darker or lighter depending on the pressure used. Watch what I do. Darker, lighter, and lightest. The darker lines are made by more pressure, and the lighter lines are made by less pressure. This is an essential tool to use while sketching and coloring. It's also one of the reasons the NYX software is included with the tablet. Using this feature optimizes the experience with the software and makes editing photos much easier. Using the pen while drawing makes precise lines, like drawing on paper. That's a tree and house. Drawing well with a mouse is almost impossible. Using the tablet completely eliminates this obstacle. Instead of ending up with a shaky mess of a drawing, you'll come out with a clean digital drawing. This tool is a must for digital artists and is actually the most common use for the tablet. The Wacom Pen & Touch tablet comes with the NYX photo editing software and the Photoshop Elements 7 program that is required to run it. Both programs are found on this disk. Personally, I don't use NYX, but Photoshop is a jewel. This is Photoshop. It costs about $40, so to get it for free makes the tablet a great value. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Tune in next week for a how-to instruction and demonstration video on the project. See ya!